Hi guys, I'm Woodcraft Hamster and I wanted to do a quick video for you today to show you how to turn this a plastic bottle into some emergency and more importantly free cordage. Um, now I'm sure you've all seen this before, I've seen dozens of videos on this and this is the very first time I've tried to make it just as a sort of a, a quick test for this video and it actually turned out reasonably well. Now what I would say is that this cord believe it or not, is actually pretty strong. Um, you know, I'm not gonna be using it for anything that requires sort of structural stability, you know, hanging a hammock or anything like that, uh, but it will work for most kind of lashing tasks and that kind of thing. Um, what I should also say is that it is a little bit on the sharp side. I mean, you're not gonna cut yourself just using it normally, but what I did notice is if you're holding it um, and you're sort of like tensioning it along with something, if your hand was to slip and run all the way down it, it's got some sharp-ish edges, um, something akin to like getting a paper cut almost. Um, so you just either need to be careful or wear a pair of gloves. Um, now, how do we do this? So I've got here the little tester that I did and I'll show you how to make one of these from scratch. Little piece of timber, it's got a couple of saw cuts in there. Um, and that's basically it. So all you will need is a saw and a knife. I'm using just this little folding pen knife. You would have seen this in one of my other videos. Um, any knife with a sharp blade will do, um, but I'm just using this to sort of prove a point that even a small little thing like this will work just as well. Um, and if you were using maybe a Swiss Army knife with a saw on it, um, you could always you could essentially use one tool to make the whole thing. I'm going to use a separate hand saw today, but you know that's just an option. Um, so I'm going to move the camera around a bit. I'm going to put a new piece of timber in my vise, and I'll show you how we make it. Right then, guys. So making this little um, jig, whatever you want to call it, is simplicity itself. Take your saw, find the halfway point and cut in a line probably three quarters of an inch to an inch deep. Once you've done that, put it through at a right angle and I'll put it this side so you can see it. Find the bottom of your line and make another cut, again about halfway through. Now with those two cuts made, what you'll notice is we have a line down the centre here and we've got a cut coming halfway down here. Now we need to remove just this little piece on the corner here. You can use a knife, especially if you're out in the field, but because I'm in my workshop, I'm gonna use a chisel and you just wanna line up, let me get this, there are we, say about here, and if I just grab my mallet, we'll give that just a little tap, and away it goes. Right then guys, so hopefully you can see a little bit better. We've got this set up in the vise, and essentially you've got a little gap under here, which is where our bottle will sit. And you, with your knife, what you can do is you can make it, you basically just need to jab the end in so it's secure, bring the blade down so it's making contact with the lower section, and you're ready to go. Now obviously you can have this anywhere along here, depending on the size of the cord you want to make. I've taken the end off this plastic bottle, and what I found during my little test run was that it really does help, if I can find the camera, um, it really does help to have like a little starting strip. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna pop this bottle in here. I'm gonna put my knife in line with where I want my cordage to be. And essentially you just take hold of, where are we, let me get this right. You just take hold of your little strip and start pulling. Now it can be a little bit tricky to begin with, but essentially this is it.
Right then guys, so what was essentially a few minutes work, here is our end result. Now obviously it's a little bit tangled, it's plastic, it's not going to want to store particularly easily. Best way I've found to deal with this is to find the end, wrap it round something circular, maybe another bottle or something like that, and then just put a very simple knot in and it will hold it all together. Um, one of the other benefits of this um, and sort of, you know, taking that sort of bushcraft um, sort of etiquette, if you like, of trying to make the make the best use of things. This is another sort of byproduct that you're left with. You've got the end caps with these little kind of half roundy bits on the end. Now, what you can do, and I might do another video about this, is if you trim these down so they match, you can essentially put them together and either glue them or heat seal them. And essentially what you're left with is a little screw cap container. Um, now alternatively you can put something, a piece of plastic inside here and join them together and then essentially you've got two. Now I've seen a lot of people use these for maybe salt and pepper pots, um, spices, that kind of thing. Um, they're nice, they're small, they don't cost anything um, and it's a really nice little sort of DIY project. So again I might do a video about making, uh, making one of these up in the future. Um, so I hope it was useful guys, as I say, you know, this to me is more of an emergency cordage um, or maybe something, you know, if you've got a permanent camp and you've got lots of things where you just need to lash things together um, that aren't going to be taking serious amounts of weight, um, this will be ideal. Um, I wouldn't use this for sort of overnighters and things like that. Um, because it's not biodegradable and I wouldn't want to leave it there. So if I did use it, um, obviously I would take it down, I would cut through it, stick it in my backpack and throw it away when I get home. Um, but you know, I say I've seen this loads of times before, I'd never tried it. Um, it's actually dead simple to do. Um, a nice way to recycle your bottles um, if, if you're that way inclined. I mean, I could see this being used in your garden instead of garden twine and that kind of thing. Um, so yeah, I think it's quite a versatile little hoardage. Um, so I hope it was useful guys. Comment some questions in the box below. Hit like and subscribe if you'd like to see more and I hope you'll all join me next time. Cheers guys.